almost trust you dodge more than this thing. Uh. What is going on today, guys? Welcome back, Sunday morning. Taking a ride over to our man, Russell, the roadside repair man. So he's got something going on. I don't even know. It's, it's some type of fur turd that needs a transmission. I don't even know what is going on, honestly. Uh, but we offered to help him. He helps us out a ton with all of our late night welding endeavors. So I figured, you know what? We got to go over here, give this man a hand, you know, make sure a transmission doesn't fall on his head or anything like that. So that's what we're starting off today. And uh, who knows where the rest of the day is going to take us. But that is the first thing on today's agenda. Oh my goodness. What? Hey! What? Is it on top of your head already yet? It fell on my head and I can't get up. Good, good. Maybe it'll do, make you a little smarter. This is like the Dodge recovery vehicle. Oh, yeah. You can yeah, here we go. on the highway now. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the Ford repair, so you can pull Ford vehicles. It's a Baja trophy truck machine. Hi, Russell. Good morning. What's happening? So, what's going on with this thing? I gotta help my buddy out. Oh, this is a buddy help. Yep, buddy help. Oh boy. The group of strands. See, look, he's got a spare engine right in the back for when this thing blows. Yeah, he is. Uh, he does boat stuff. So. Oh. Look at this Crane thing. Crane is for the boats. Look at this thing. Nice. Does this thing work? I don't know. I think it used to be a uh, a power truck, probably, right? Oh, I don't know. So what do you got? You got a you got a transmission on the jack here. That's a thousand horsepower. Yeah. Train. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think so. It's good for uh, 350 foot pounds. All right, so we got to stick that baby back in there. We're gonna plug her back in there. You're gonna learn something today, Greg. What they say about circling the problem here in the front there? It's a turd. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> These are nice. These are nice. Aftermarket headlights. When you go fast, you can see where you're going. All right. Let's get it go. done. Let's Woo! Ride. Russell, look at all those, look at all those horsepower making up pipes you got there. We got stainless up pipes, and that's a billet flex plate for sure. Is it really? No. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say. No, yeah. I was like, no, it's not. It's a stamp steel factory POS. They crack. Is that what? What are the up pipes? Uh, would they rust out or something? The factory Ford up pipes, rather than having the bellows on each side there. They use a, a donut and a slip collar. Oh. So this pipe actually inserts into the clamp and there's no bellow at all. Speaking of donuts, did you yeah. get me some donuts this yeah, morning? Yeah, we need some donuts. You're looking pretty fat lately. Oh. Too. Fatty, fatty. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> I've been losing weight. Are you kidding me? Man, nothing like nothing like some good old support. <laughs> How's that make you feel yeah. in the morning? Yeah, <laughs> thanks. So if you own a 7.3, put, uh, put up pipes on it. Because they bleed up top. And there goes all your drive pressure you're, you're that gonna, you didn't have much of to begin with. You're going to be bleeding after this <laughs> This is over, after I punch you in the mouth. She's Look at ready us. to ride. You sure you don't want to add some more welds right here just to, uh, you know? Half the gears are chewed off in one spot already. Are they really? Yeah, somewhere over there. I saw when I was taking it out. Yeah, right here. Uh, little starter issue? Yeah, maybe back in the day. Oh, She'll be alright for a couple more. How many miles are on this thing? I have no idea. A lot? 50, I think. All of them. All of the all miles. All of the miles. <laughs> <laughs> Russell, is that uh, is that Snap-on Ryan approved? Yeah, yeah. He sold me this. He said it's custom. Oh, but okay. Specially built just for me. Just for Ford, we got uh, you know you got to go. Extra wobble in it, right? Oh, okay. Is that's built in? Yeah. That's it's, nice. It's called a torque bar now. <laughs> Russell, these this is every extension that you had to get that one bolt. Yep, but it works. That's nice. Someday Ryan will give me a, a real extension, but until then, we'll Ryan, this way. Ryan's not giving you anything. Ryan will charge you a pretty penny for whatever you want, but he ain't giving you nothing. $200 for an extension. Well, that'd be the cheap. That'd be cheap. Rip offs. All right. All right. We got the, we got the, uh, the trans is in. We got one set of bolts done. We'll be, we'll be doing burnouts. In a, it, are we going to do a burnout in this thing? I don't think it's going to. It's got too much tire to do a burnout, Greg. And that crane's probably kind of heavy, right? A lot of weight back here. He's very he's very worried about somebody stealing his things, though. He's got a full-size full size knee, knee, knee breaker inside there. <clears throat> One other thing. Another thing. Another thing that uh, we found here. Look at this custom tag to make sure you know that uh, somebody's been inside your fully built trans. What'd you say, Russell? So you must have been drinking like a chocolate milk uh, 
when he was putting this thing together? It's a chocolate milk special trans. Yeah, he uh, he got the special locking tab. So if you got if, you know if you mess with any of his secrets inside the transmission, he's gonna know that that's not gonna be there. And Custom. no, no, we did not put that. We did not put that there. I literally tried to pull it out. It's, it, he, that was definitely put there on purpose. Maybe it's marking ownership of certain transmissions or something. Instead of instead of powder coating stuff, you just uh, you put whatever whatever your drink whatever your drink of choice uh, cap is. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. Unbelievable. All right, we're moving along. Hey, at least it's two wheel drive. Makes, makes things life a, little, a lot easier. Makes things a little easier. All right, Russell's yeah, a party underneath this utility bed. Russell's, Russell's, oh man, look at all that. Russell's jack stands haven't killed us yet, so that's good. We're still alive. Death is imminent. <laughs> all righty, stand clear. We are ready for the first fire up. Make sure it doesn't run over anything. It's gonna go straight, Will you lay right through the fence. Act as a chalk for me? Yeah, go ahead. What'd you say? I said it looks fast just sitting still. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you've been drinking a little too much Kool-Aid there, my man. Alright, so uh, we did not have enough fluid to uh, fill this beast up all the way. So we actually have to take a trip to trip to Napa, uh, which is gonna be gonna be interesting because if it does break down, like the last time we went on a test drive in a Ford in this same driveway. No one's gonna be here to, uh, oh, look at this. Is the door not? Russell, the door doesn't shut. Oh, <laughs> I hope the audio picked that up. Russell said, if you need to get out quick, if it catches on fire, you don't need to open the door handle. Oh man. Safety exit. All right, so we're gonna try and make it to Napa. All right, let's see if we can make it to Napa to get some more fluid. Does this door shut? I don't know. I'm gonna go around the corner real fast, see if you fall out. <laughs> that moves. Are these for the, uh, like the nitrous purge and the nitrous uh, switch? The truck, sorry. Uh, don't worry. Side swiped her. Maybe we should go to a parking lot and try to lift up a car with that crane. If it makes it to the parking lot. Alright, does it shift? Does it shift? One, one. Oh, Two. there we go. We got a second gear. <laughs> it was a little delayed. She's cold. See, this trans has got a boot for us for in gauge, so it doesn't shift until like 50 foot pounds of boost or more, you know, because it'll make a thousand horsepower for sure. Oh, is that what it does? Oh, okay. Yeah. I actually almost started to believe you there for a second. I'm like, wait, boost <laughs> reference for a trans chip? Like, <laughs> that's a bunch of hot air, Greg. <laughs> Everything that comes out of your mouth is a bunch of hot air. Why should I put my seatbelt on? Yeah, put your seatbelt on. Oh, the door's opening. The door's opening. How's he drive this? I think he. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm coming for you. I think I think this extension cord down here is so you can tie this door over here to this door so everything stays shut while you're locked in there. You're gonna tie the door to your neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Look at that, does that turn on? I don't know. Try flashing somebody. Not with your chest. <laughs> does this thing actually have brakes? I don't know. We didn't work on those so they should still work. Oh my A lot of wind noise when the door's not closed. Very scared. Very scared. It's a 7.3 though, it's collectible. It's collectible? <laughs> What's wrong with the cigarette lighter? Oh, well, I'll give you guys an update if we're all stuck on the side of the road here in a minute. No second. Okay, here. okay, update. Oh, wow. Hello. Update, uh, first to second shift uh, does not seem to be uh, all that healthy. Maybe it needs extra fluid. Oh, maybe that's it. No, it's got plenty in it. 
Russell, the converter will lock. on a scale of one to ten, are you slightly scared right now? Not my truck. I didn't rebuild the trans. Not my problem. <laughs> I wish the door would close. Are we waiting for overdrive right now? Uh, converter lock. Houston, we have a problem. They didn't fix this. It's doing the same thing as before. Oh, there we go. We're, up, we're, up, we're going up the uh, slightest of inclines. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'd almost trust you dodge more than this thing. Uh <laughs> Maybe we can put a 68 in it. No. It makes a weird noise as soon as it goes down into that. Uh, that that's definitely that gear related noise. It's re-exploding all over again. Oh my goodness. Right there, as soon as it does that, it's got nothing. She's flashing, she's giving up, she's surrendering. You must be uh, this is two really for, bad luck. This is two for two on a uh, Ford transmission uh, <laughs> test drive gone terribly wrong. At least none of them were rebuilt by me. That's right. I'm not responsible. The installation went smooth. It didn't fall out, so I have... And it's not leaking. I have no issues past that. Buy a 6.7. A Ford 6.7. I see you got one right on your front yeah, lawn. It's nice. For sale. I only know what the 12.11 is. Russell, how many codes are in there? There's five. There's five codes. But two of them are powertrain. The 0732 might be trans. I don't know what that is. I gotta look it up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Googly. <clears throat> well, it wasn't found on the road dead, but we made it, it back. We'll make it far on the road if you try. <laughs> we made it. We made it back to the driveway. <laughs> All right, Russell. Goodbye, my friend. Thanks for the help, Greg. You've now killed two transmissions. <laughs> <laughs> two for two in the Ford graveyard. Time, time to call the guy and give him his bad news. I'm hey, sorry. Your trans is back in, but it probably has to come back out again, and I ain't doing it. Call the trans builder. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bye. Thanks a bunch, honey. Alrighty guys, so we are wrapped up at Russell's for the weekend. We've been in the shop for a couple hours just trying to knock out a couple other little things on the dually, just some time consuming kind of little boring things. So I'm just gonna recap that stuff, but uh, always a good time hanging out with Russell, going back and forth, giving each other crap. That's what that's what buddies do. So uh, first thing that we knocked out uh, today, once we got back to the shop, is we swapped out the heat wrap that kind of came on some of these pipes for the PTP lava wrap. Um, just super high quality stuff from the guys over at PTP. So swapped out that for our hot pipe and our first part of our down pipe and then we'll see if we need anything more But the clamp should go around there. I test fit this clamp. That should be good So we're pretty much at the point where we're gonna start installing the hot pipe and then the turbo which we're not gonna get to today But we are prepped ready for that. So underneath here in the uh, Wheel well if we can see anything uh, We are pretty much ready like I said for that. We got the fleece block drain down there with the AN lines, kind of routed the exact same way that they wanted to. You can kind of see the bottom of the turbo mount right here. Boom, looking good. Um, went ahead and got this coolant line started right here off that standpipe that's gonna wrap right around here and then into the AN fitting with the fleece coolant tank. AC lines are good, locked in and done and recharged. And here's just a top look of that turbo brace, major part of why we went with this kit. So we have plenty of support. That installed pretty well. Um, as far as getting everything lined up with the hot pipe to the turbine housing, that is gonna be the next challenge. Hopefully everything lines up well there, but seems like our drain uh, switching to AN line uh, is working good. Got our black powder coated clamps down there. That one's tight on the uh, Cheetah 63 on the bottom on the manifold there. And this is what they tell you. They tell you to kind of loosely put that one on there and uh, we'll be good to go. The only, the only other thing that I had a couple guys reach out to me about is the fact of getting this oil filter out. Looks like it might be a little bit of a challenge. So we're going to test fit that uh, intermediate charge pipe here um, and kind of see what that looks like. And we may have to do maybe something with that oil filter relocation kit. I know, uh, I think it's pack break. Uh, people were telling me make a oil filter relocation. But we'll cross that bridge once we get to it, but we're shaping up really just a couple more pipes and we should be good to go. So, uh, and then went ahead and this is the uh, secondary 
oil feed for the top charger there. So we're moving along, we're moving along. It's just little miscellaneous things. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, guys. Make sure you guys hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys tomorrow. See ya.